yo, yo. What's up, what's up? I'm trying to make a video <coughs> on my iPhone because I'm a bum and I don't carry my camera around anymore. But uh, I'll get back into it. Springtime's here. It's nice out. It's 50 degrees. <coughs> Polishing the truck. It's uh, what is it, March 7th. <coughs> so far, I did all the wheels except this one. Put my polisher up here. Some old. I don't even know what type of polisher it is. It's probably like 3,000 RPM. I use Harbor Freight. Uh, I think it's sewn spiral cotton pads. They got the. You can see the stitching going around the center of it. They're a little. They get soft once you use it because the stitches will come out. But it's tough enough where you could actually cut with the brown bar, which is what I use. Uh, there we go. Zephyr. A Zephyr brown bar. That's what it looks like. Brown Chipotle, the Rouge. And I use paint thinner to clean the rim first <coughs> with a rag. Then I'll polish the face with, uh, <coughs> with the eight inch buff. And then I use one of my worn out ones to do the lip over here. So they come out really nice. That one's finished. This is the first time I polished since, uh, I think July. I had a truck show I went to over then. That's how they, that's how they look. My truck. Getting ready for the busy season. Polish up the fenders tomorrow, maybe. A little truck. But uh, I got another video <clears throat> of the black truck picking up a flatbed in the yard. I gotta polish this next. Diesel tank. It's pretty disgusting. You see, it's over the winter, you end up getting all stained up from the landfill. This stuff doesn't come off. Try to get that out by hand, it's gonna be a pain in the ass with polish. You gotta really hit that with the machine. <clears throat> but uh, that's it. I hope everybody's doing good, and I'll talk to you guys soon.